wish I would have done that. Oh, I have goosebumps right now when I say this. I'm gonna get emotional. Here we are. Welcome to another episode of our uh, college, uh, our school sessions uh, hosted at Lambton College. Uh, my name is Sean. I am the Enrollment Initiatives Coordinator. I am your host for this entire series and today we are back with another installment. Today's uh, episode is all about our creative design suite of programs. So we have a small but mighty group of creative design programs uh, that you're going to learn about today. So if you're creative minded uh, and you want to uh, to express your creativity, we have a number of programs that that, uh, that might be a fit for you. So we have our photography, our esthetician, hairstyling, culinary management, a lot of great opportunities, especially if you're looking to, to get creative with your post-secondary uh, education. Uh, so first and foremost, to those, to those joining us live, welcome to the, the broadcast. And to those that are gonna be tuning in a little, a little bit later, uh, welcome as well. Uh, one thing to note, if you do have any questions, you can go ahead and post them in the chat and then I will, uh, I will address those uh, throughout the event today. A uh, couple things as well. Uh, first, uh, for joining the school session today, you are entered into a draw to win your tuition. So if you have an offer to Lambton College and you confirm your offer by the end of May, so by uh, Monday of next week, uh, then you could potentially win your tuition on us, which is a huge cost savings, especially in these times. So definitely, if you have an active offer to Lambton College, consider confirming uh, today, uh, which would be great. Uh, one thing that I do also want to uh, make sure everyone is aware of is in terms of what are our plans for the fall. I know we get that question a lot, and uh, I unfortunately don't have all the answers. We don't have a magic ball in terms of what the pandemic is going to do next. Uh, but I can tell you that Lambton College is actively looking at the situation, and we are customizing all of our program plans to really make sure you have the best experience. So there's a few options when, when you uh, come in the fall. You could be fully online. Uh, meaning all of your uh, classes are going to be held remotely, uh, so you'd be tuning in to, uh, to Teams. Uh, it could be partially remote, so part of your classes could be in a Teams environment or an online environment, and part of them could be in the lab setting. Uh, so that is, uh, there, there's a lot of options that, that we're looking at, and we're definitely uh, looking at each individual program to see how we can uh, make sure our students have the best possible experience while being as safe as possible as well. Obviously, our safety of our staff and students are number one, uh, so we want to keep all of the safety parameters in place, but we also, too, want to make sure that you have a great experience. We want to see students back on campus as much as you want to be on campus, so we are looking forward to the day that we can do that. Uh, so with all of those things being said and all of the groundwork being played, uh, we're going to get started and we're going to learn a little bit about the photography program. So I am going to hand it over to Richard who is joining us in the photography studio and he's going to share uh, us a little bit of information about what his students are up to. Richard, over hey to there. you. Hey there, how are you doing? My name is Richard Beland and I'm the coordinator for the photography program here at Lambton College. Uh, right now you're in our studio and uh, welcome. Glad that you're here to listen. And uh, just behind me here, I'm just standing in front of uh, something called the Cyclorama. Uh, we call it the Cove around here. Uh, this is one of our studios. We have five studios that are within the actual studio that you're sitting in, or watching in rather. And uh, what we have here is it's a, it's a, we use it as, the way it's lighted, it looks like it has an endless horizon in it. So we do a lot of fashion photography here. Uh, we do product photography here. And then if you look around the room, um, you know, it, it's maybe a tiny bit untidy right now just because uh, uh, we just finished the term off. But around the room, we have five other separate studios and they're all modular in design. So each studio has these curtains that we can um, put in front. Uh, that way you have your own space to work in. Um, our studio is built just for us. So we don't share it with any other program. And uh, we do that <clears throat> so we have our own space. We have our own creative space. 
uh, we want a place where our students can come and, and feel safe, that they can be as creative as they want, and they can photograph anything that they want and, uh, and have some fun and uh, collaborate with other students while they're here as well. Um, we also have a couple printing stations, uh, a couple, I should rather say, or I should say rather a few printing stations um, because we do a lot of fine art printing here as well. Uh, we believe that the, the actual tangible print that you make is the final product uh, rather than just making a digital file. So you start with this creative idea, you build it uh, technically and you make it technically um, and then you make a print at the end. Uh, what else can I tell you about our program? <clears throat> All of our instructors are working photographers. Um, I myself, I've been working in the music industry uh, since 1994, since I graduated from my own photography program that I was studying. And uh, um, I lived in Toronto for 25 years and I photographed uh, pretty much any band that you can think of at this point, maybe U2 or Metallica. And I did a lot of work at the Tragically Hip, um, the Rolling Stones. Uh, a lot of great bands and all of our instructors have impressive careers. Um, uh, we have Jeff Robbins here who's a uh, photojournalist and you can pick up a, a national newspaper almost any day and find one of his photos in there. And Nikki Patel teaches our, our portrait class, she teaches our wedding photography and our design and composition class and she's a wedding photographer based in London, Ontario and she's won so many awards that I, I, I go on and on listing them. So. Uh, uh, all of our instructors working photographers and we're really proud about that because what you get as a student, I believe you get a really rich education um, because you're learning from someone who actually uses what they teach. Uh, so anybody could stand in front of the studio and, or in front of the class and teach from a textbook. We're coming in here and even if we're just teaching something basic like aperture or shutter, we're able to relate it with something that we did and it could have been last night or the day before. Uh, because we're all in, in, always shooting. And in fact, I just got here right now from an actual photo shoot. So uh, um, yeah, anyway, all working photographers. Um, some other highlights of our program. Uh, we go to New York City every year and that is an optional trip. And I say optional for a couple reasons. Um, one, uh, it's an added expense in addition. Um, but I do find probably 90% of the people come along with us. Over the years, I've worked a lot in New York. I actually studied uh, one year of photography in New York as well. Uh, so I think I make a pretty tour, good tour guide. And we've been going there now for eight years. Um, we didn't go last year uh, because of COVID, but we're hoping that the border opens up in time for us to go this coming year. Um, and that's always very exciting. And the trip to New York, it's not really a tourist trip, so to speak. It's all about art and photography. So everything we do, uh, we're visiting galleries and we're going to places that are, are photographic although I guess you could say that about anywhere in New York. Uh, but we spent a lot of time um, making photographs while we are there also. Uh, our program this September, something very, very exciting, uh, we're introducing drone photography, and that's brand new to our program, so that'll start up in September. And we have uh, our instructors, uh, Brady Gilcrest, who's a, a licensed drone operator. And he's based in Toronto. He's going to be coming here to teach uh, uh, this course for us. And the interesting thing about drone photography is that uh, in the entire population of Canada, there's only 4,000 uh, fully licensed drone operators uh, for photography. So um, I think we're doing something that's a little bit cutting edge. And um, if you happen to study it this year, I'll be your classmate because I'm taking the course myself. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, what else? Well, we really focus on uh, creative and technical um, in the first year especially, our, our primary goal is to make sure that you get the fundamental technical skills. And that's all about camera skills, lighting skills, and computer. And I guess that would primarily be Photoshop. So uh, we, we're, we're really working on developing and giving you those skills, especially in the first year. In the second term, it's more about getting you ready to graduate, which after the two years. And um, we're, we're working on nurturing your creativity then. You've built these technical skills. Now it's all about making sure that you're making photographs that you want to make, that you're proud of. So when you graduate from here, you're filling your portfolio, you're filling your website, you're filling your own social media with photographs that you're proud of and photographs that you have a passion for. So we give you the technical criteria, the technical parameters that you have to meet for a certain assignment. And then your job is to go out there and make photos that are uh, fulfilling for you and ones that, you know, will help you promote 
the type of photographer that you want to be when you graduate. And maybe, um, why don't we take a walk, if you don't mind, we'll go out to the gallery here. And right up here, we call this our graduate gallery. <clears throat> and um, once students uh, move on, once they graduate, uh, we put photographs up, uh, one that represents each student. And we try to pick ones that really represent uh, the style of the student. And normally when we do some sort of promo or we have visitors or the first year students, the new students are seeing these photographs that our, our students have made, uh, the ones that are in the graduating year. And I think, um, well, it helps for, with promotion, but it helps inspire the new students as well. Um, and uh, maybe we'll go back into the studio now. And this also serves as our classroom. <clears throat> Uh, so probably 90% of the classes that you'll take, you'll be studying here. Um, when you have an English class or some sort of uh, general elective, those are typically over in the main building. Um, but this doubles up as our classroom, which I think is really great because kind of like I was saying earlier, it's your space. It's your creative space. It's where you're going to spend your full two years right here. Um, and uh, in fact, the entire building is made up of all... Uh, all creative programs so you'll know through the through the doors over there you're over there in the spa with the hairstyling and aesthetic students and around the corner we have the culinary program so we're all kind of like-minded individuals whether we're talking about the instructors and or the students uh, so this whole space has become um, we actually nickname it just for fun the school of cool uh, and that's kind of fitting for us and uh, otherwise I think um, you know, we kind of got it covered here. Two-year program, we do have a few students who come in and take classes part-time. So even if you're interested in part-time, if you happen to be in high school and you're listening to this, we have a dual credit program. Uh, and that's pretty cool for a high school student because you get a credit with us. So if you ever decided to come on and study photography with us, you'd already have one credit. You're studying one of our classes. Uh, but the great thing for you, the high school student, is you get a high school credit as well. And um, I don't know, that's a pretty good way to, to get a high school credit is to be able to come here and study photography. And um, we also have students who sometimes stretch the two years and do it over three or four years. So um, if you wanted to make it last a little bit longer, you certainly could do that. Uh, we had a student who graduated this year and I think he took five years to do it. So. Uh, um, if you want to do it more than two, you can do it more than two. But it really is a, a two-year diploma program. And um, I think we cover all the fundamental skills while you're here uh, to make sure that whatever you have a passion for, you'll have that fundamental knowledge to go out there and, uh, and make great photographs of it. We'll give you that, that foundational knowledge and um, you get to apply your own creative skills to that and, uh, and make photos that you're proud of. Um, that you'll be able to show uh, to potential employers once you graduate from here. And uh, we just had a video that's up on YouTube. If you get a chance, maybe you can go to the Lambda College YouTube page. And if you put Lambda College Photography once you get in there, uh, that's pretty uh, interesting. We, we have over 600 views on it now. And our dean and our uh, president of the school uh, says a little bit about our program. And uh, we have interviews with some of our graduates. We have interviews with graduates who graduated four or five, six years ago who are telling you what they're doing out in the field. Um, one of the students is out there doing real estate photography and he's doing very well. He moved over to Michigan and um, uh, he's doing real estate photography every week. And we have one of our students who's uh, doing wedding photography. Um, and we have another one who's doing newborn and family photography in that. Uh, graduate pool. So kind of just gives you an idea of what people are doing. Um, if you're on Instagram, we have our own Instagram uh, handle for the program. It's called Lens on Lambton, L-E-N-S-O-N, L-A-M-B-T-O-N, Lens on Lambton. And it kind of gives you an idea of what goes on in the program. Uh, we often highlight uh, specific students and their work. And we have a Facebook page as well. And then we have a website. So if you go on lensonlampton.com, 
And if you click on artist, you can see the work of every single person that's gone through our program. Uh, each student submits 10 photographs, and once you click on a specific artist, it'll give you the idea of the work that they've created here in the program. And I think if I was to give you any sort of promotion for the program, it really would be the work that our students have created. So if you have an opportunity, go to lensonlampton.com and click on artist and just have a look at some of the work uh, uh, the students have created in the past nine years we've been around now. It'll give you an idea of what we've been up to and what they've been up to. And uh, keep in mind, a lot of these students have come to the program and they've never even used a big professional DSLR and mirrorless camera. Many of them have only worked with a telephone before. And uh, you can see w what the work looks like when someone starts here in September and picks up that big camera for the first time. And two years later, the work they're creating is, uh, it's wonderful, it's impressive. And every once in a while, uh, a student will come by with a photograph and I'll look at it. And keep in mind, I've been doing this for 30 years. And I'll go, wow, I wish I knew how to create that or how did you do that? And uh, that's always one of the, the highlights of the year for me is when I see this incredible work that students are um, making uh, based on the skills that they have. And I think we're pretty good. So anyway, uh, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, I'm really easy to find richard.beland at lamptoncollege.ca. Feel free to send me an email or you can find me through the marketing. And uh, I'm happy to any answer any questions about the program or if you want to buy equipment and you're getting ready to come into the program, uh, I'm happy to help you. Awesome. Thanks so much, Richard. Really appreciate the overview of the program, the tour of the space, and, and uh, seeing some of the work from our graduates as well. So thanks so much. Um, so before we move on to the next uh, presenter, our culinary management program, I just want to remind anybody that does have a current application to one of our programs to keep an eye on your email. Email is the number one uh, form of communication for our students. Uh, so we want to make sure that you are able to uh, stay connected with the college, especially with all the important information that we have uh, going out to our applicants and making sure they're as informed as possible. So definitely keep an eye on your email. It is uh, the number one uh, choice uh, of communication. Uh, the other thing as well is if you are looking at programs today, whether it be the Creative Design Suite or any of our other programs, uh, we do still have a number of spots available in our programming for the fall. Uh, so if you are looking to apply, there's definitely uh, no better time to start with your post-secondary education than right now. Uh, so definitely uh, if you are looking at programs and if you have questions, maybe questions about programs that aren't necessarily on today's agenda, we have a whole team of enrollment advisors and recruitment staff that are available to help you out. So whether that be with program advising, uh, with a one-on-one -on -one meeting uh, with, a, with an enrollment advisor. That's what that's all about. We also have info at Lambton College where you can send us a quick email. We have a live chat on our website as well. Uh, so there's so many ways to keep connected with the enrollment team and we're, we really are here to, to make sure you have the information you need uh, to make an informed decision for your post-secondary education and help you through the application process to make sure it's as, as smooth as possible. So that's what uh, that, that's available for you if you are looking at programming and, uh, and we're excited to connect with you. Uh, so at this point in time, I think we are ready to look at our next program, and that's going to be our culinary management program. So joining us from the demo kitchen is Alistair Mackay, the coordinator, and he's going to talk to you about what's happening in his area. Hi there. I'm uh, Alistair Mackay. I am the program coordinator here at Lampton College for the culinary management program. I'm here to talk to you, obviously, about the program. Uh, I've got about 35 years of food and beverage experience. 23 years as a certified journeyman chef, and in the last 10 years, uh, I've been program coordinator here at Lampton College for the culinary manager program. And what we've really been focusing on is uh, developing and improving our program, but not just its content, really on its delivery. So what we've come up with is a fast track program that allows students to begin in September and finish the following August. So essentially one calendar year. The program is allowed, is aligned uh, with the standards that the ministry provides in the province of Ontario for the trade of cook. What this does is speed up the requirement for students to get that on-the-job training that's going to be required. Students will re require 6,000 hours of on-the-job experience. We will expedite that for you, finishing it a little bit faster. Uh, currently, I'm working in or trying to organize uh, one of our learning environments here, and again, which will allow for flexibility. Uh, this acts as a two-fold operation. As you can see, it's a 
uh, normal kitchen that you would see that's industry related, but it's also attached with our theory related uh, part of our program. So students will have the opportunity to be able to uh, hear what the lecture might, might be, see what the lecture is happening, and by using these cameras, they can also watch demonstrations occur. And kind of this flexibility provides us as faculty to be able to teach, demonstrate, reinforce, and assess all in the same day. So essentially a student would able to be able to hear what's happening in the theory class, watch what's happening, and then go directly into the back labs and actual practice. And faculty are here to reassess, reinforce, uh, and make sure students understand what's required for them for on-the-job training. Um, the other thing that this operates as is for our college, again, student-run college restaurant called Capstones. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a bit, but what I will tell you is that it allows students to participate in varying forms of food and beverage enterprises. In your first term, you'd run it as a cafe. Second term, it would be a bistro. And finally, in our third term, it would be a fine dining establishment. I'll talk a little bit more about that a little bit. First of all, I want to talk about this space here. Again, we're trying to reinforce and encourage the flexibility that these, uh, again, flexible learning environments have. As you can see with this space, students have the opportunity to be able to work independently, but also in small groups, small teams, working together helping each other, asking questions, because the class sizes within our program are actually extremely good. The ratio of student to teacher is ex excellent, which allows more opportunity for students to be able to ask the right questions and feel like they're being noticed. All faculty here at Lampin College are Red Seal Journeyman uh, certified chefs. They have uh, many years of varying experience between uh, small hotels, large hotels, fine dining establishments, catering careers, um, long-term care facilities, institutional cooking, QSRs, which is a quick service restaurant or fast food. So because of all of that experience, it allows students to be able to immerse themselves into varying disciplines within the industry, giving them more career opportunities. Here at Lambton College, we do encourage sustainable practices when we do our applied learning. Uh, that hands-on experience allows us to utilize the garden areas that are in the back of this particular studio. We develop opportunities for students to earn as they learn because of the connection with our local restaurant industry. And we incorporate certifications. So the certifications that would be incorporated within the program, SmartServe, which is about responsible training of alcohol, and also your food handler certificate. These are here to prepare students for job readiness. The nice thing about SmartServe and some of the front of house training that we provide, it gives flexibility for our students to be able to cross train in other departments within the hospitality industry post-graduation. Our program is nearly 100% immersed in this particular area. If you follow me, I'll show you just the doorway to residence, but also into our restaurant capstones. This is the doorway to residence, so again, proximity for those students who are considering uh, Lampton College and looking at residence, how close it is to the actual area of our program. Our restaurant, Capstones, which is important. We talk about hands-on, we talk about applied learning, we talk about experiential learning. 70% of our program is hands-on application. That is done in effective class size ratios, which allows, as I mentioned earlier, a little bit more opportunity for mentorship and opportunities to be able to discuss issues with faculty. And like other flexible labs, this studio allows for three terms of that student-run restaurant operations of capstones. Again, term one, you'd be running cafe, term two, bistro, and term three would be fine dining. Our front of house content that we deliver offers a greater understanding of not just what the industry is like, but also what the needs of the customer which is becoming more and more important when we look at operating restaurants. Current trends in the restaurant operations provide some flexibility for students to be able to create their own menus. It helps, again, diversify that learning. Uh, as you can see from our bar, obviously, uh, the, the use of beverages, our licensed establishment, it is part of that part of those training uh, where students learn uh, how to operate all uh, amenities within a restaurant. Uh, we train on the uh, POS system here, which is a point-of-sale system. This is called Touch Bistro. 
Again, in turn one, students will have to learn how to operate these things. It's very user friendly. Uh, if I can do it, I'm pretty sure the students who are much more savvy at computers can, uh, they'll be able to handle it no problem. Follow me and I'll take you to our uh, main kitchens. Server your area, again, utilizing itself for more of the capstone operation. The size of it allows, again, for that physical distancing. I know, maintaining that, it's important that we make sure that students feel safe when they come to Lampton College. There are additional opportunities for us to utilize the bank of facilities that are adjacent to this particular space. Again, giving students more opportunities to learn about different areas of uh, food and beverage enterprises, not just single working in a restaurant, but also having the opportunity to do large scale catering events, um, dinners for 200 people, lunches for 150, could be a small business meeting for 50. Again, we have that ability to be able to be flexible with the like, what type of learning we provide. Uh, we have a sustainable agriculture course, which is, again, it's key. We're probably one of the only ones in the province that provides this, where students actually utilize the scraps, vegetables, we compost, and then we use that inside of our own gardens and within our own course. So we're teaching students not just the importance of sustain sustainability, but also the importance of understanding how food grows and the nutritional impact that's provided for that. We have a field placement course within the program, again, because of our connection with the restaurant community within Sarnia. We provide networking opportunities for students to basically take parts of the, of the industry for a test drive. So if you're interested in cafes or working in bistros or if you're interested in long-term care, you have those opportunities to do that during our field placement course. Again, giving you a bit of an array of what the industry is really like. I guess some of the final things I would say that, you know, we have a minimum grade requirement within the program allow you to progress C minus I think it's manageable it is quicker again because of the fast track portion of it it's a faster program than most two-year programs giving you more opportunity to, to kind of earn money on the side whether you're working part-time or to get in, into uh, into the world of, of working full-time post-graduation <laughs> because it's fast track it's less money it's a little bit more of a savings again it's flexible experiential it's above the program standards from the as far as the ministry is concerned in the, in the trade of cook. And again, we may not be the only choice for culinary management, but we certainly would be the best one. I wanna thank you for your time. Take care. Awesome, thanks so much, Alistair. That was a great overview and a great tour and, and we look forward to seeing our, our new uh, culinary students in the fall, so thanks so much. Uh, okay, so uh, we are just going to be transitioning to our last and final stop of the day. Uh, which will be our esthetician and hairstyling program with Lori. Uh, but before we do that, I do just want to open it up again, the, uh, the question pool. So if anybody does have any questions, again, we are here to answer them for you today. Uh, if we don't know the answer, we will uh, endeavor to find the answer for you. Uh, so all of that, all the information that you also could be looking for will also be housed on our website, lamptoncollege.ca. So if there's anything quick or any information needs that you have there, it can definitely be located on our, on our core website. Um, and it looks like we are ready. So we are going to be going live to the spa now with Lori. Uh, so she is gonna get, she's gonna wrap some stuff up uh, with our, uh, our creative design program. So Lori, we are, we're excited to meet you. Hi, Sean. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Lambton College. My name's Lori Kemp. I'm the coordinator of the aesthetics program. Today, I'm gonna to give you a tour of the aesthetics and the hairstyling programs, my favorite place to be of the whole college. Follow me. This is our retail reception area. And in this area is where we greet our clients. We teach our students how to market the program, how to use the computer software, how to do the online booking, how to do the hard copy booking, because all of that's important. So when our students graduate, they're ready to go right out into the real world and start their own business. We also sell a lot of products and we have a lot of fun. Up on the walls, you'll see pictures of some of our students who have graduated. And most of these girls have graduated from not one, but both our hairstyling and our aesthetics programs. So our top graduates are going out to do both in the industry. And because the two professions work so well together, 
it's a perfect combination. If you graduate from the aesthetics program or hair styling first, it doesn't matter which way you do it, you'll have five credits towards the other program. So you go into your second year already having some of the work done, which is a, a great way to have to combine both programs and both services. And you can be completely graduated from both the hairstyling and the aesthetics programs in two, two full years. So you still get an Ontario two-year college diploma in one year, but you get four full years of recognized education by your government because each program is considered a two-year Ontario college diploma. Does that make sense? Okay, I hope so. Follow me. This is one of three of our hairstyling labs. We don't have any students in here today, um, but typically it's very busy. The music's going. Right now our students are all working on mannequins, um, but they do work on each other. They do work on clients. Uh, we generate money, which goes right back into our program, and our students graduate already, already feeling comfortable working on clients. We have a regular clientele that comes in pre-COVID, and we'll get back to that as soon as COVID is over. Um, but it's a great spot to be. It's always fun. It's always lively. There's always something going on and our students are loving it. They're actually over in a different building today, but uh, we're glad that you're here with us. I'm going to take you into the aesthetics lab now. I do have students working here today, so we'll be a little bit quieter, but we're very lucky. We have one of the largest teaching labs of all of the Ontario colleges. We have our instructor Danny who is demonstrating some services now and our students. We have a beautiful flat screen up on the wall so our students can sit comfortably and watch the services that we're demonstrating. Some of our graduates have gone on to take further courses and go to other schools and take Cosmetic management, one of our students has been on the red carpet doing looks for the Grammys. We have students who are on cruise ships. We have students who, of course, have gone on to open up their own businesses. We have students who own Carol Baker Visage. We have students who are working at Sephora, Mac, and all of those great lines. And of course, we have students all over Ontario now. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Danny. Good. Thank you. Thanks so much, Lori. That was another great tour of our space. And as you can see, we have some really unique spaces for our creative design program. So no matter which program you would be interested in in our creative design suite, you can see that we have uh, really special uh, lab spaces and dedicated spaces for all of them. So really great learning experience and the learning uh, environment for our students. Uh, so I don't think there's any questions. So I think we will go ahead and uh, sign off for today. So that was a quick look at our creative design programs. Again, if you have any other further questions, you can reach out to us at any point. Uh, my team is happy to assist any student that has any questions about Lambton College and help them through the application process. So until next time, I hope you all have a great day and we hope to see you at the next episode.